see here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Vic now. Open man downfield, that's Smith-Schuster. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 35. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. Here's Vic. Open man is Johnson. Touchdown, Steelers. Calvin Johnson, 29 yards. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Boswell good with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and five. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And his defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try to keep the defense honest. You mean also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Right side caught by Jackson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Try and throw for it here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. Here's Moon. Eluding the pressure right. Looking sideline incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And all it will be intercepted. Picked up by the veteran Richard Sherman. And the Steelers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Stiff armed in. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. give. Here comes Jackson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Through one quarter, 14-7. Our score. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Now a give, it's Jackson. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. 
So the three-time Pro Bowler, Javon Curse, with a tackle there. And you get selected for that game because you are a consistently dominant performer. And that's what he is. We always think about him being a pass rusher, but he can play the run as well, a guy that you just have to game plan for every week. Well, he cannot get away. Down goes Vic. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Vic to throw it. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked up by A.J. Terrell. And the Saints are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And now they'll shift things around. Good for the Saints, first down. Okay, take us to school here, Charles. On a play like that, pretty successful RPO. What's the quarterback looking at? Basics, he's looking at the defensive end or the outside linebacker. If that player crashes down to take the running back, quarterback pulls it, runs to the outside end. Some teams, though, will read different players depending on defenses, but basically, it's that outside player. The throw over the middle, take it in. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He'll hit Jackson complete. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Second down and three. Moon to throw. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. struggle and that's a surprise to me typically when you can throw it 
You've opened up lanes for your runners. On fourth down, Moon. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. They'll try the right side here with Bo. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's Michael Vick. To the right side, here's Moore. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll give him eight that time. And this will wind up being a third and three. Vic readies to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Jerry Rice from four yards out. And the Steelers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point put through by Boswell. And it's now 21-7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And yeah, they'll have good field position here as he's out of bounds up at about the 34-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's second and three. Play action. It's Moon. Airing it out deep for Smith. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Steelers are going to take possession here at their own 33. Nine seconds to play, and likely the final snap of the first half as it's first and ten. So here's Vic following the interception. That's laid out deep for Rice. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. So they can try out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. Boswell's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. He's got him in, complete! And they've got him well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 
A play fake. Now Moon. This is caught. It's Cooks. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. They'll try and run for it with Bo. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. Again, Jackson pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. They'll try and sneak it here. And he is over the line for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? A great play there. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Saints are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Three, three. Second down, another carry for Jackson. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Vic with the incompletion there on third down. Part of the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. 19 sides, 19 sides. Top low 18. And over now, cut 19, cut 19. Fourth down, Vic. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. On first and ten, Moon. This is caught. It's Kirk. Touchdown. No runs. Christian Kirk, 40 yards. And the Saints have cut it back within a score. McManus's point after is good. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. From the gun, Vic. Into the hands of Smith Schuster on the crossing pattern. Still on his feet. Steelers touchdown. Juju Smith Schuster. 64 yards. 
And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boswell good with the extra point. And his guys will take a 10 lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. Now move. Been taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And a terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. First down, it's Moon. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Cam Chancellor, he can do it all. This time, it's a sack on the safety blitz. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. To throw, Moon. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 17-yard line. Now Moon. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Mayer from 17 yards out. And the Saints are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead is down to a field goal. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Things sure were looking good for them at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to match the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business? Now that you're being pressed, it is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. Now here's Vic. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 32 that time. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll run with a big man, Bo Jackson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll run now with Bo Jackson. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but it works some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Buying time to his left. 
He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 14. Jackson and he'll get about three just outside the 10 stopped at the 11 able to stay in bounds and the clock keeps rolling and this defense right now backed up in the red zone another touchdown it's over they've got to stand tall quickly been in this spot before now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there hold him up second third guy in rake it the football get it out we've got to create a turnover because one more score and this game's over Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up and keep third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Now Vic, he's going to change things up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Working in zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. What is this? And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Vic. Steps away to his left. And he will be out of bounds well shy of the marker. So that's a turnover on downs. Great job defensively. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. They'll try again here. Second and ten. They'll look to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Here's second and seven. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans. Number two. As they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. On third down, this is Jackson. And he is going to have a Steeler first down. All smiles on that sideline. That should be the one to do it. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And they will take a knee here. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. 
But there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers.